most people probably heard of the Easter Island heads, but what happened when they dug deeper? There was a full statue. Um, the first thing we talk about is food, and that, that's the first thing I want to just discuss, really, how we eat, what happens when we eat, and what happens inside the body. So when you're eating, protein, fats, or carbohydrates starts in the mouth, obviously, goes down the esophagus and ends in the stomach, once it's down that little tube there, and it'll be in the stomach for about two hours, and then it will leave the stomach and it will go into the small intestine here and it'll be about two hours in there. And that's the colon. Some people call it the large intestine. When you chew, obviously, that is the first bit of digestion and you have lots of things in your mouth to break down food. And then it gets into your stomach, the stomach stretching being a signal. If you can see on the stomach there, these little sort of pits and valleys and uh, crinkles and they're called rouge. And what happens is they sort of expand out and when the stomach stretches it makes you feel full i mean that's that's what happens and it needs to be a very acidic environment a lot of people worried about low stomach acid um, some people take hcl tablets to improve their stomach acid some people try apple cider vinegar but you do need a very acidic stomach to break down the food and we're going to be talking about the whole process very quickly like this but you see, if you don't if you don't chew properly, that's giving you a problem before you've even started because it's going to hit the stomach. It's not going to be a, um, as broken down as we like. And then it gets to the stomach. Once it's in the stomach, uh, you've got the gallbladder here and you've got the pancreas here. The gallbladder will produce bile. It's into duodenum. And so will the pancreas produce pancreatic enzymes. The stomach will empty and it will go into this section here and you will have those enzymes. OK, so. Um, you need really good function of the pancreas and obviously a good gallbladder. If you haven't got a good gallbladder, then what might happen is you won't produce enough bile, but the liver tends to come to the rescue. So yeah, uh, so this is the pancreas and it produces enzymes and some people didn't know what an enzyme was. So an enzyme, just very quickly, is something that breaks food down. Your food is what's called a substrate. We're trying not to be too sciencey here, but uh, your food will come down. It needs These two bits need to be broken down. It will this is the enzyme. It fits into there. It gets a little tight pinch and it breaks those into two products. So metabolism there is um, breaking down food. OK, um, there is a bit at the bottom where I've said it's not like being locked in the chamber and being set alight by a flame. And there's a reason I've put that in there. So an enzyme is a biochemical reaction. So your food has been broken down in your mouth. It's been acidified and broken down in your stomach. Enzymes have started to act from your pancreas and from the bile salts. And now it's in your small intestine. So your small intestine is a big tubey bit. And um, basically lumps of food are pushed through and it's like a ripple effect. And this is uh, another thing you can think about why people uh, go for a walk after they've eaten a big meal. You can help this. If you feel that your digestion is not really great, moving around will make your small intestines do this lovely regular space, 12 waves per minute of pushing the food along the small intestine. Some people can have real problems with motility. It's not very mobile, basically. Irregular spacing, weak spacing as well. And movement is a really handy thing to have to help. So at this point, we've chewed, we've added acid, we've added enzymes, we're pushing it through that small intestinal tube. And at this point, this is where it goes into the bloodstream. So food that was originally outside of you has gone into this tube, and now it's leaving this tube and going into your bloodstream. So it's becoming part of you. Now, if you have problems with the breakdown of food in your mouth, in your stomach, uh, with your juices, with your acids, with your uh, mobile uh, your motility of your stomach, then you might have problems. Okay. Now I've included this slide because it then gets into the colon. So you've got like two hours in the small intestine, this food. It's been whizzing around there and then it's going to eventually go into the colon. Um, and I've shown you this because some people have an operation where they have a bag attached just as the food leaves the small intestine and goes into the colon. And that bag will be filled with liquid and undigested fluid. It's pretty gross. Never meat. So people that think meat goes up your colon and then rots in it, that, that doesn't happen. When you, when you actually have real people eating real food, you never see that. And the colostomy bag is over the other side of the body, um, the last stage just before you evacuate. And um, that means your colon is working okay, but then you have a problem in the, the lower uh, 
lower quadrant there. When you lie down, you can see stomach acid um, and the position of your stomach. If you're still di digesting food, if you're lying on your right side, it can be more problematic than if you lie on your left side. So that could be a general tip for anyone that's having digestive issues is to always lie on your left side. That will be helpful. Something worth talking about. So um, you have had all that information. I know there's a real whistle stop and it went from your mouth right to the end. I've not talked about a lot of other mechanisms because I don't want this to be too heavy and, and um, too sciencey. But I think you'd agree there's a lot involved. I haven't talked about leptin or ghrelin or any other things really, um, but I've talked about the mechanical digestion, chewing, I've talked about the stomach, I've talked about small intestine, the pancreas, the bile and everything that gets that uh, lump of food digested and absorbed as a nutrient. 